Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids. What I want to do here in today's video, this is going to be a train wreck. It's going to be hilarious though, hopefully. What we've done is we put all four, all four of the fusion epics into one Hydra team. And we've coupled that with Deliana in the lead because she is a login legendary. Basically anyone who's capable of getting all four of these epics is going to have a Deliana. And then Rector Drath uh, in to help support the team see uh, and bring us the perfect veil so at least we've got some answer to torment fearing us all the time uh she's also a referral code champion so yeah we want to see how good will these champions be place your bets now let me show you their builds i've got them in good builds we've got deliana she is in a guardian set and she is coming in with 72 72 000 hp 230 speed 100 crit rate and all of this we could go a bit lower on the crit rate on the on these champions and i've done that with the epics mostly uh that i didn't that with well, the ones i built today for this uh because we're going to be getting bonus crit rate from anchorite but uh yeah this is deliana she has these masteries then we are coming down she's the only legendary in this team then we've got our epics let's cover the non-fusion epic first rector drath in pretty much the same old rector drath build i've always had 256 speed 460 resist i think i actually do want to switch her into a reflex set that's something i need to re-gear her for on live uh but yeah she's totally fine she's got resistance here she's here to stay alive and keep us alive at least in theory we'll see if we can make it happen Wuji is in pretty much the same build from her showcase before. 29,000 health, maybe slightly different. 29k health, 2.5k defense, 186 speed. She has really high resist, 457, which is as much as you need for hard. Uh, and then she's got lots and lots of damage as well. Um, now, the issue being that I think that she's much, much better when you combo her with a shielding champion. A shield champion makes up for her low base health and makes her much better. So, for example, you could put her with Brogni because she's going to be mischief tanking with all these buffs she can put on herself she can tank out of mischief and do a really good job there stop him stealing our buffs because uh well she'll just resist his buff steal every time um but yeah we don't have that with this team because we're bringing in these epics that don't have very good buffs we'll try our best she's got war master and counter attack stuff her counter attacks are really powerful next up we've got actually three spirits in a row we've got yellow gina who i've built kind of for damage so she's got 4.6k attack 213 speed, 254% crit damage, and some accuracy. And her masteries are uh, like this. We have Carlinia. She's in more, a bit more of a debuffing type masteries. I do have her in a guardian set as well. Try keep the team alive. 240 speed, good defensive stats, not really much crit rate, and some accuracy. And then we have Anchorite coming in in a relentless set. Uh, and he's got 64,000 health, 2,500 defense, almost 240 speed, that 70%-ish crit rate, and he's got, well, some other random stuff, and his masteries are like so. So, yeah. That's it, full auto. Let's go. <laughs> so, <laughs> I really think this is going to fall apart really hard. Um, the issue being we do not have a provoke to lock down Head of Decay, I'm just really worried that Head of Wrath is going to wreck us. Now, if Head of Decay was not in here, or if Head of Wrath was not in here, I'd feel an awful lot better. Um, yeah, I'd feel an awful lot better. Yeah, you can already see Wrath is smacking us, and we're not able to stop him getting those buffs on, at least at the start, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. So here we go. We are provoked. We're just going to leave We're gonna leave it full auto. I will target the heads a little bit as well. We've got a several AoE decrease attacks in here, but it doesn't look like it wants to work for us. Actually, let's give them the fairest shot here because we're going to get wrecked. Let's give them the fairest shot. Let's split up their decrease attacks. Let's split them up. So we can, for example, Carlinia has AoE decrease attack. Let's, let's have her start off with her strengthen. That'll be fine. There we go. Let's go again. So let's have her start out with strengthen. So that way, hopefully the cleanse happens and then she can land decrease attack on turn two. There's the strengthen. It's protected strengthen, which is pretty cool, actually. We get the block, deb uh, block buffs out. That's going to be uh, obviously a problem. The decrease attack goes out, gets cleansed. Okay, and now we should hopefully be back on track. That counter attack from Carlinia is actually really nice, landing the HP burn. You could run her in a counter attack type team. Here we go, decrease attack. Missed it. She missed it. We're gonna let it run. We're got this is a fair a fair take on how good these champions are. I think this this is fair. Right? This is totally fair. Let's target head of mischief. See if we can work it down. It's it's kind of 
a lost cause almost, I feel. We get the block buffs out there. That's definitely going to help us. We have some extra turns from him coming in. Anchorite doing his extra turns, popping out some healing. He is an AoE A1. Going to be popping out healing. He's going to extend our buffs, all the rest. Ooh, the Head of Wrath smacks us with that hit, and that really, really hurts. Absolutely shredding through. Okay, here we go. We're actually beating up this head quite a bit. That's not too bad. We get a burn out there. We do need to be careful with the burns. The burns could actually hurt us if we are not careful. I think we might even lose her because we've got no healing on her right now. We do have some buff removal or debuff removal with these champions, but they haven't got a range of it quite yet. The decrease attack has gone back on. We get the full heal there from Anchorite. There's the revive. We're back up standing. Okay, not too worse for wear. We're actually doing all right here. We do have a true fear out, though. That's a bit unfortunate. Wuji's doing some counter attacks. Now, this is where it's scary. The cleanse has come out. We do get block buffs out nice and early. That's good. We really want to see a decrease attack on him before he comes back to his thing. Get block buffs on the other head, actually, from Yellow Gina. She's about to be eaten. She's about to be eaten. Let's target the head of Decay. Actually, the last thing we want to do, sorry, is to be targeting Mischief. Oh, this is bad. It's always really bad when the person that's lowest health uh, eats your champion. Because they're the one that's going to be shielded. So we're going to have to break through his shield as well. He pops off and really smacks us hard. Good counterattack from Muji. We have the decrease attack on now. That's definitely going to help. Help there a whole lot, that's for sure. Muji again doing good damage. Burnout from her. It's actually going better than I thought. We've almost 3 million damage right now. This is the bad thing. We almost had him free. Almost, but not quite. Almost, but not quite. Definitely the fears are certainly an issue right here. There we go. We got this buff out the heal. This is... I don't know what you guys think, but I'm going to be frank here. This is going way better than I thought it would. I really had no faith in this team because I'm very aware from having done this many times on the test server that... These runs can be way harder than you think. I'm actually super impressed that these epics have been able to pull. Obviously, they're in insanely good gear. But the fact that they've been able to try and put up a fight is, I think, actually very impressive. The A we hit from Anchorite. Again, the issue here is he's fearing himself. He'd be very, very good if we put him in. Nice decrease attack. If we put Anchorite in with like an Inquisitor Shemail, for example, uh, and like a Geomancer Inquisitor Shemail team, that AoE A1 would become a really good boost. Now, this is kind of scary. He's about to pop off soon. We broke our champion free. That's good. Let's stop fearing ourselves. Let's try maybe focus Decay a little bit. Let's get a burn on Decay. That will do. Wow, straight into the next champion being eaten. She is our mischief tank, so that is a little bit awkward. The fears are really wreaking havoc on the squad right now. Missing a lot of turns due to fear. This is really going to hurt. Oh, the, de the decreased attack is worn off. This might be the end. Massive hit comes in. The strengthen from Deliana definitely helping to soften the blow. But is it enough? Again, that, uh, the heal reduction there is really stopping Deliana getting healed up, which sucks. Penance, AoE decrease attack would be nice. But again, unfortunately, the Head of Wrath does have block debuffs up right now. Some of those buffs being stolen. Only two turns to break Wuji free. Deliana is dead. The rest of us are holding on, but not by much. <laughs> not by much. Strengthen is out. One turn left to break this champion free. Decrease attack. Actually working pretty well. Block buffs is out. We're doing some damage, but I don't see this, unfortunately, being enough. I feel like Wuji is our main source of damage. We do land the hit. We get the HP burn. Can we get another hit out? Doesn't look like it. And she's gone. Wuji is gone. But 4.7 million. 4.7 million. Now, if we were to play this on full auto and be targeting like the A1 with Rector Drath and such like that, let's try to smash this shield. But I don't think we're quite going to have enough damage here. Um, yeah. You know, th I'm actually, like I said, this is a train wreck, but much less of a train wreck than I expected. And I, I do, ha I actually feel like with these champs, I feel like we're being really screwed up by this, the combo of heads that's in this rotation, I think is really bad for us. You know, because we've got no provoke for decay, we've got a little bit of stuff to deal with, with torment, but not much. I feel like we don't have the tools that we want. We don't have the tools that we need. It's definitely making it tougher. We're actually up to 5.4 million, though. 
We're trucking along. Here we go. I think it's going to fall apart pretty soon. We've got three turns to break him out. He just got a speed boost. Two turns left. Health is going low. Luckily, we do have that Deliana passive kicking in, really helping us a ton here. Um, but yeah, this this is this is pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad news at this point. The healing from uh, Anchorite's A1 is fairly small, fairly insubstantial. Got a bit of a hit coming out. One turn to break him out. Again, I think we just lack the damage. Yalergina built with as much damage as we can, but she's just not doing much. We don't, with this team, have um, a decreased defense, which definitely hurts the damage output. Uh, none of these epics have it, simply enough. None of them have it, so full heal on Mischief is coming up in a second. We are down two champions. Uh, I think we get the gist of how this is working. Um, let me cut. Let me, let's let this run out. <laughs> I think we're going to be dying pretty quickly here. We'll try to break this champion free. I'll be back when this is over. I don't think what we've, we're, we're long left in this world. I don't think we've got long left. All right. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we get to the end of hard seven minutes, 44 and full auto here. And we did 6.41 million damage. Um, yeah, I mean, so obviously for hard, not good. The funny thing is, though, actually, if this was on normal difficulty Hydra, obviously I've got much better gear, but normal is significantly easier, and this would have been a one key on normal. So that's actually kind of cool. In fact, I'm going to go and I'm going to run this key on normal in a second, and we'll see how they do, but they should be able to get the one key. If we look at this stuff overall from this performance on hard, what can we see? Deliana obviously really stands out with that Guardian set, keeping people alive, uh, doing the top damage with just all of her AoE attacks and just her survivability. I think her passive really stood out. Her block bus is very good. Wuji really pumped out a lot of damage, but she got eaten very early on, and then we didn't have enough damage to break her out. Um, Yelagurna, or Yelagurna, excuse me, Yelagurna, once again, reinforcing to me that she's just an absolutely terrible champion. She just absolutely sucks. There's no way around it. She was built for damage, and her damage is awful. It's just so bad. Um, so she's a terrible champion. Carlinia built as a support, massively outdamaging her with a HP burn. Uh, Anchorite doing okay-ish. Um, I think the issue, I think Anchorite's a great champion. Definitely the thing he struggles with in this team is he is there to extend your buffs. Um, but we don't have that many good buffs. For example, if we were to put a Brogni in instead of Yellergina, the Brogni shield helps everyone stay alive. Uh, the block debuffs protects us. Increased attack is nice. Anchorite extends it. Wuji is mischief tanking, so we're all good. And it becomes a, a much stronger team overall. But we're sticking with the theme. Uh, all right, that was, that was hard. Let's see how they do on normal. I won't make you watch normal, but I'm going to hit auto and I'm going to let it run. And I will let you know. How it, how it does. What do you guys think? I'm expecting the one key. I'm expecting the one key. Maybe 8 million? I'll see. We'll see. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys. We're coming to the end of the run. There we go. 11 minutes in. I think 140 turns. 12.54 million damage dealt on normal difficulty. That's really cool. That's actually fantastic. It's not quite, but almost double the damage that you need to get the top chest here on normal. Uh, and the team actually ran really smoothly. There's one thing I need to check. I might need to rerun this. Anchorite, for whatever reason, he just spams his A1. He does the heal, but he doesn't do the buff extension. I need to double check I didn't turn that off, which would be embarrassing. It seems like maybe there needs to be a certain number of buffs out there for him to actually do it. But he wasn't doing it by default. But we look at the stats and now we can see this is I think more what you would expect given the bills of these champions. I think we go into normal difficulty and the damage output of the Hydra heads is not as bad. We're able to actually stay alive, uh, somewhat keep up with the speeds and stuff like that, um, despite not having a perfect team and the champions can actually do what they're supposed to do. Deliana, 1.3 million. She did die off pretty early on. She got devoured and eaten. Uh, Wuji actually did 4.4 million. That's really respectable. Uh, the really interesting thing about this was it wasn't really that bad. Keeping Wuji alive really wasn't that bad. Uh, it's not. I know it's the main criticism people have of her is that it's really hard to keep her alive. How are you going to keep her alive at all? Well, here you go. Now, certainly we've got really good gear on these champions, but uh, and we've built a, a, a decent supportive team. Like, we've got several supports in here. But, uh, like, if anyone turns around and says to me, like, this is the most crazy OP team, I could never build this team, or something like that, 
Uh, Wooji will never be useful to me. There's no way I could do, you know, I just don't buy it, really. Certainly the gear. I buy the gear. That's fair. But, I mean, go for half the damage. It, it's quite doable. But her damage output is really respectable. Um, and, yeah, I mean, you can always not build her for damage. You can build her to be survivable. It's just all those counterattacks she pumps out. It really adds up to a ton of damage. It's great. While also mischief tanking. I'm super impressed with her. Anchorite actually did really good damage, just spamming his A1. I find it so funny that he almost outdamaged Yalagurna. Uh, um, now, his healing is pretty miserable. Like, that that A1 healing, really, though, despite that damage, it's really not adding up to anything. His A1 healing is tiny. Uh, his direct healing gets wasted quite a bit because of the heal reduction from, from Decay. But, because, uh, yeah, it, it, just the way it works. And we got to check his AI. His AI seems wonky. Seems like you have to force him to do his buff extension. Carlinia, a solid amount of damage as well with those burns, actually. Uh, and not bad, really. And Yelagurna, actually, I can't even say her name. That's how little I respect her. She actually did much better damage. This is much more what you would expect. Again, for the level of gear that was on her, I'd say it, this is still dreadful. She is just an awful champion. She sucks. Do not six-star this champion. Don't build this champion. Put her in the vault. Maybe she'll get buffed one day. Or, I don't know. Just just keep her for a faction guardian. Don't, don't, I'm not even going for her. Don't even go for her. She's terrible. This champion is so bad. I've just been... From running her here in Hydra, she's obviously not fully designed for Hydra. But let's just reinforce that feeling. She just sucks. And then Rector Drath healing and doing a good job. So, yeah. Honestly, I was, I was really happy with that. That was a great run. That was really fun. If we come down... Let's have a quick look. Anchorite. No, everything's by default. He just doesn't do this. He just doesn't do this, which is removing a debuff and increasing your buffs. So you'd have to come in, and I would set that to priority one. Just force him to do it. I'd open with this, and then force him to do this. You can maybe, like, remove the taunt and stuff from round one. Uh, but yeah, that that's something that you would do. That would probably up your damage a good chunk, because his A1 is nice, but it's not doing much. But extending the buffs is going to give you more coverage of, like, the perfect fail uh, of the strength in. It's going to be quite good. And removing those debuffs is going to be quite good as well. He's going to remove true fears. He's going to remove the provokes. All that sort of stuff is going to be much more useful. Uh, I tell you what, I'm going to run them through one more time. Let me double check this. I'm going to run them through one more time, because it takes, like, two seconds for you on the video. I'll see you at the other side. We'll see how they do this time. Ha ha. Actually, you know what? Come in and watch some of this. You want to come watch some of this? We're going full auto. I haven't targeted anything. But just so you can see how the comp is actually working. Like, no one is dying. It's very straightforward. And we're actually extending the buffs now, which is cool. So you'll see, like, Wooji. She gets smacked. But the big thing is... Unfortunately, she's feared right now, actually. Which <laughs> is a bit of a bummer. Um, stop getting feared, Wooji. But yeah, she... Let's, let's target this... Yeah, they're not smart enough. Let's target this head. Kill the decapitated head. There we go. Uh... Yeah, it's pretty cool. There we go. He extends the buffs. That's so good. That's so much better. That's so much better. But yeah, the leeches that are out there, thanks to Deliana, is what lets this work. Uh, Leech really helps. Okay, let's target this head. Leech enables her to keep healing uh, th with her counterattacks and basically keep herself topped up. Um, because we got multiple sources of the decreased attack here to really help us get through, uh, she's, she's totally fine. She isn't going to end up in too much trouble. We'll see here. She's going to get mega smacked. This is about as hard as we can be smacked. Here we go. She gets smacked. Counterattacks. Heals herself fully back up. Like the combo there with Deliana with the leech is really good. We're about to break this head free. There we go. Target this for a second. Okay. Untarget. And let them on. Uh, but yeah, there you go. You get an idea. We're up to 4 million. Well, bam. Not bad. Uh, let's just leave him go. Let's leave him on. I'll be back when it's done. Be right back. All right, basically the same score again. Pretty much worse off, actually. Uh, yeah, essentially what happens is that uh, if Wuji gets eaten, Wuji got eaten relatively early by Head of Mischief, and it just, everything falls apart at that point. Because when Wuji gets eaten by Head of Mischief, Head of Mischief starts stealing turn meter. It devours her really quickly. There's almost no real damage on the rest of the team. They're all medium damage, some of them, but no really high damage healer, so they don't break her out very quickly. Much easier if someone else gets, you know, if that luck goes your way, if someone else gets eaten, Wuji breaks them out super fast with her counterattacks. Like, it's no problem at all. But when she gets eaten, uh, things fall apart fast. But, um, yeah, so I think pretty consistent. You've seen a few different runs. You get an idea. 
my opinions remain pretty much the same. Wuji has continued to impress. I think for normal, she's incredible. I think for hard difficulty, you do need to bring a good supportive team with you, but that's that's hard difficulty Hydra. You always need to bring a good supportive team. So, I mean, uh, you might have some magical damage dealers that work with zero support champions. I'd be happy to see them. But no, I just honestly, I'm really impressed by her. Deliana is great here as well. Anchorite, he seems okay. Um, I think Anchorite, he didn't really thrive here. He's going to thrive much better in teams that have those really good buffs which we don't super have. Carlinia wasn't bad. I'd actually say you could potentially run her with a retaliation set. Her A1 is very strong. Landing that HP burn is not the best chance, but it's a solid chance. With a retaliation set, some revenge accessories, I think that'd actually be really good on her. Yeah, the Gurna, she's doing okay damage, but considering her gear is terrible. And yeah, you get the idea, guys. There we go. All of the epics on Hydra. This actually turned out much more successfully than I thought. Yeah, much more successful than I thought. Obviously, their gear is fantastic. Uh, but yeah, nonetheless, uh, I th hopefully this was an interesting showcase of their different skills. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.